All right, so I'm going to call a I'm going to call the special public safety committee meeting to order. Um, Madam Clerk, can you do roll call of the committee members? James Slender. Present. Ron Buckholz. Ed Peters. Present. The House Leader. Yeah. Chuck Bennett. Here. We have a quorum. For the record, I want Mr. Paulson appears as a committee member, uh, and I think we have Miss Pettit online who also appears. These are committee members. They're not present for the quorum, but present for the discussion. Uh, Madam Clerk, are we in compliance with open meeting laws? The meeting has been noticed to the public and news media as required by section 19.84 of the Wisconsin statutes. <clears throat> for the record, the meeting agenda has been posted. This is a special meeting, so the only item for discussion is going to be the budget discussion for 2022 for public safety and then uh then we'll be going into closed session for a discussion with legal counsel regarding some matters that uh require um legal guidance so moving on to public comment is there anybody here who's not on the agenda who wishes to address the committee regarding the item that we're that we are uh considering Ms. Zilmer. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad to see that this committee is taking up budget items because I really did not see discussion at the last regular meeting or much discussion the month before. Uh, I emailed all the members of the committee uh, some background information on an issue regarding the MOU between LCO and the county that I tried to get answers on in April. So I hope to request that there be get some answers to my questions, uh, especially since I see the MOU is being looked at again. And also, as far as remote participation, how would you, how does technology let participants know when you go back into open session to see if you take action as a result of closed session? The, uh, Mr. Colson re-enables the Zoom camera and uh, we're back available on the same Zoom number. So we just stay online, but we have no audio or video. Is that correct? I have no idea. I'm not on Zoom. Mr. Colson. We can put them in the waiting room where they cannot hear. Okay, that's okay. So Ms. Zilmer, what will happen is anybody who's not uh, invited to the closed session, and I say that because I have a couple of other uh, supervisors who are present and if they're they haven't indicated what their level of participation is going to be but um anybody who's not invited will be put into a waiting room uh and they can listen until or be present until such time that we go back to the open session thank you for that clarification <laughs> any other comments yes mr schlender this is uh, supervisor pettit uh, I would like to be included, if possible, in those close, the close meeting, the close session, due to any funding that is going to be done for, taken from someplace else, or any funding that is going to be brought up for budget changes. Noted. Any other comments from anybody else regarding the agenda? Items, discussions, anything else? All right, moving on to... Number six, 2022 budget discussion, discussion and possible action. So the reason why I asked for this meeting and why we are convening is because uh, I wanted to make sure that the Sheriff's Department was present so that we could discuss what could be a potential shortfall of around $50,000. And I need the Sheriff to be present for that discussion. And, um, it deals with uh, different agreements and different uh, grants and different funding sources. And uh, we have one that is potentially in question. And uh, Ms. Roker, you're present, correct? Yes, sir. How much am I allowed to discuss regarding something that isn't in a formal agreement between two parties? Uh, for purposes of your budget discussion? Correct. Um, I think it's a, 
I think it would be an appropriate statement that you are attempting to account for potential loss of funds that have been anticipated in previous years due to uh, potentially not entering into said agreement. Okay. So Sheriff, I'm gonna tell you straight up that um, I know that you have a situation that's developing that is under your responsibility and that it's the county board's responsibility for your funding level and that if you're not in a position to um, enter into any agreements that um, this committee will support your, your decision and that um, we will assume the responsibility for whatever budget shortfall that may arise from that decision. Um, but that I'm not, I'm not available to discuss it too much more. Um, I will for the purposes of discussion entertain any questions. I mean, I can't get any more vague. So it's not like James Pondy or sitting here trying to answer questions and missing every other word. Um, is there any questions from the committee on the discussion? Because I'm about to go into closed session. If not, I'll entertain a motion to go into closed session. Pursuant to Wisconsin statute 19.85 sub one sub G to confer with legal counsel for Surrey County who is rendering uh, oral advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the county board with respect to litigation which, may, which the county may or may not be involved. I'll make that motion. A motion from Mr. Van Etten. I'll second that motion. Second from Mr. Peters. May I do a roll call for that? You can do whatever you want. But, um, so I have motion, second. Any discussion on the motion? All in favor of the motion from the committee members indicate by saying aye. 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 Any, any committee members who are in opposition to that motion? Any committee members abstaining from that vote? So Ms. Uh, that motion passed four, four zero. Um, Ms. Pettit, in order for you to be part of a closed session, you have to certify on the record that your area is secure, there's no one else present, and, uh, and that the communication that's gonna be discussed will not be, is not available for anybody who's not authorized to be part of that discussion. I certify I am in a closed room, locked door, no one else can hear me, no one else is in here with me, and it will not be discussed with anyone. All right. You put it that um, every effort was made to go back into open session via Zoom after we came out of closed session. I want a sentence in there that says something to that effect. So when that open records request hits us, they can look at that and say, yeah, Schlender said, go back in open session and we may have to make it back in open session. Do you get a response? No response, no. I've already talked to you before. Who's Linda? Again. Yes, we are. All right, so we have come out of closed session. We had to reboot the computer because we did not have the technological means of bringing people out of a waiting room back into open session. And maybe next year we will. But as of right now, uh, we are now back in open session. Uh, the purpose of the discussion was to discuss uh, matters of litigation. Um, Nothing came out of that session that required any action from this committee. Um, does this committee, so we're going on from closed session or open session under item B to number eight, correspondence reports from conferences, meetings, and other matters for discussion only. Does the committee have anything else they wish to discuss regarding the budget or any other thing that pertains to the purpose of this meeting? Mr. Van Etten? I do not. Mr. Schleter? 
Mr. Peters. I do not. Out of deference, Mr. Paulson, do you have anything you wish to do? No, thank you. Ms. Pettit did not come back. So with that, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you everybody for coming in. So if you were betting, man, how would you bet? <laughs> 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 <laughs>